Hi everybody, uh, my name is Motana, let's get started. So before we get started, I want to insist that something very, very crucial, okay? So if you're one of the students who does these modules or these subjects, make sure you leave a comment so I know exactly there are people who need my help as a feedback. But if you don't, then I'm not seeing why I should, because there's a certain group of students who ask me to help them out for this. So leaving the comments is very, very important, then I know, okay, there are people who need my help. Means if I don't get any type of feedback in because I make a video for a lot of students means then I know okay maybe there are no people interested in this type of video so it's very very important you leave a comments and you like also you share comments are very very crucial is a part of the feedback for me to understand let's get started so now let's say solve this question this question is very way easy so first and foremost uh, let's say here uh, it's a matter question of a tangent tangent at x equal to one so what I'm going to do, I have to differentiate. Differentiate is way easy. So let me find f prime. So I'm going to say, find f prime first. f prime meaning, meaning function. So say find f prime. So look, this is quotient. So since this is quotient, mean the numerator one, let me call it f, and the denominator is g. But when you differentiate f over g, means if you take f over g prime, meaning the right your denominator constant and then differentiate the numerator, uh, oh, so, sorry, I say the other way around. Okay. Numerator must be constant and then differentiate the numerator. Minus now, 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 now. Numerator is going to be constant now. And this is going to be constant now. No. What am I saying now? Okay. Put the denominator constant, which is g, constant, then differentiate the numerator, and then now reverse the process. But you must start. Okay. Just simple as that. So now, and then we square the denominator. So what is our, our, our g? g means the denominator. So I'm going to say now f prime equal f prime equal to so we say denominator constant. What is the denominator? Denominator means square root of x plus 1 x squared plus 1. Denominator of x squared plus 1 means this constant. And then we differentiate the numerator. So differentiate Numerator. What is numerator? Numerator is x for this case. Minus. Now we have to evade the process means now the denominator is going to be differentiated and then we put the numerator constant. Means numerator now is going to be constant that we differentiate the denominator. But what is the denominator? Square root of x plus 1. But that same as say square root of x plus 1 and then we over denominator square. Square the denominator. Which is uh, which is called denominator means take this x square plus one and then what you do you have to square root of the denominator. So now we're gonna say okay f prime equal okay now uh, when you derivate x is gonna get to one so it's gonna be all of these times one is gonna be the same thing. Now we minus minus we have our x now let's differentiate all of this. You can differentiate a side so you can say okay let's differentiate a side. Remember that's like a differential of that. But what does that mean? That means like x squared plus 1 power half. Square root means half. Now let's differentiate. The half is going to go to the back and then differentiate what is inside the bracket means this. It's going to give us 2x. And then differentiate all of this. Excuse me. Means this one went to the back and then we differentiate the inner one and then we minus 1. Then when you minus 1 it's going to be x squared plus 1, right exactly, half minus 1 equal to negative, a half. So this, let me say, 1 over 2, uh, oh, we can just simplify this one, let's simplify this, okay, by 2, 1, by 2, 1. So now we have, on top you have your x over, take all this denominator because it's positive, so it's going to become x, square plus 1 has become positive, means it's going to become positive a half at the denominator. But what is positive a half means it's square root, so I can simply say square root. So when you differentiate all of this, you get that. So then I can simply write x square root of x plus 1. But I make sure you show this is a part of the solution. So this can be 1 over, no, is x is not 1. Is x over square root of x plus 1. Okay? So also make sure you make it part of the solution. Okay? It's very, very crucial. And then we over... Then we over. Oh, okay. My computer is kind of freezing a little bit. 
Okay, so uh, so we're gonna see now. Uh, just my, my computer kind of went for a little bit, but I, I'll rewrite it. Okay, so we had a decent statement here, right? Just a second, just a second, just a second, people. My computer kind of went for so we had um, so we say f over g prime equal to denominator constant, which is x squared plus one, and then we say we differentiate x, which is gonna give us one. Sorry, my computer kind of froze minus now. Uh, this we say uh, we write the denominator now const now we say we write numerator constant and then when you differentiate that we got x over square root of x squared plus one sorry about that because my computer my powerpoint went off so we square the denominator which is going to be x squared plus one but what you have to do you have to square simple so now let's simplify so what i'm going to do is say x times x is x, x squared x times x is equal to x squared Okay, so x times x equal to x squared. Oh, so this one here is going to be exactly how it is. Minus x squared over my PowerPoint went off. So, but you understand what is happening here. When you square this, it's going to give us, means this and this is going to cancel. So the denominator is going to be, no, there's no root here. Because this and this cancel, so just x squared plus one. So what we can do now, we can just say over one. Remember this f prime, right? So we can say over one, and then we can cross multiplication because we want to find the common denominator of the one on top and simplify. So this is going to give us. Look, if you have a this times that, it's like somebody gives square root of x times square root of x. What you gonna get? You're gonna get x. See? So now if we take v is square root of x plus 1 times square root of x plus 1 means you're going to get x squared just plus 1 no root anymore so we minus 1 times x squared it is x squared and then over we multiply these two here 1 times that one is going to be x squared plus 1 but remember all this denominator over this which is this one here which is x squared plus 1 you see what i'm saying so then uh, make sure you show you how it works okay so then we say this same as say uh, can just make a space here so then you can take this one here acceptable mathematic but look if you open the bracket these and these gonna cancel so I cancel oh yes so that mean because it's gonna be x squared plus one minus x squared is gonna be one over we can bring to the top but uh, when this is same as say one times x squared plus one you can do like this times that so this let me say one over but look when you say x squared plus one is like x it's like somebody give you x root times x what does that mean this is like x power half times x power one this becomes x three over two because the base are the same from the exponential rule so now we're going to say this stuff here is going to become x plus one power 3 over 2 because there's a square root of x times which is x they are the same thing see so we're gonna say then uh if this have come here is gonna give us it's gonna become one one over that so these are f prime see which is slope so a slope m or f prime equal to 1 over 1 over x squared plus 1 power 3 over 2 but listen you got a slope let me let me let me write here side because we're going to use it now now so our slope i can say our slope f prime equal to 1 over x squared plus 1 3 over 2 that's our f prime or you can call it slope now let's come back here to equations and get it done is easy, man. Let's go to the Look, they say here, uh, determine the equation of a tangent at x equal to one. Oh, so we can get a slope face. So we have a slope, we can call it prime, but at x equal to one, equal. This plug is going to be 1 over x equal to 1. 1 square equal to 1, 1 plus 1 equal to 2. 
2 power 3 3 over 2. But mathematical, that's the OO is 2 on top. Okay. Let's write down a little bit. So I can say this is same as A, our F prime, but of X equal to 1. Or sometimes we can call it slope. Equal to, let's plug X equal to 1 over. 1 square equal to 1 because X equal to 1. 1, 1 plus 1 equal to 2, so it's going to be 2. 3 over 2, but what 3 over 2? 3 over 2 is like 1 over 2 times 3. So I can just say, same as A, 1 over 2 times 3. There's a power. So this same as A, let me write here, 1 over square root over 2, power 3. So this is going to be what? Slope. So this is our slope here. If we tang it. Okay? So if you catch a slope or tang it, they don't want a slope or tang They want a question of tang Make sure you write everything, people, okay? You want a slope of it? Tang it. Easy, easy. Why do I say easy? Look. So I'm going to say. See? This meaning is 1. Look. Power 3 is like square times square root of 2. Because this is like power 1, this power 3. It's like a 1 over 2 square root of 2. Is our actual slope. So slope of tangent we have. But I want to get a question of a tangent, which is easy, okay? So let's find the point of a tangent. Point of a tangent. Look, when x go to 1, let's substitute in the original question. When x go to 1, what the value of y? Put this 1 in here. So it's going to become, look, 1 over x1 square 1 plus over 2. 2. Oh, so it's going to become what? 1 square root of a 2. See? That's a point of a tangent. So for that case, I have everything. So I can go to the equation of a line, which they say, y minus y dash equal to m x minus x1. My apologies, people. Oh, I need to put my phone in silence. Sorry, sorry about that. Let's put it silence quick. See? So now I know my x and I know my y. So I can simply substitute and say, okay, y minus y dash. Y dash means this value of here. 1 square root of 2. Okay, m. Slope we have. Slope equal to 1, 2 square root of 2. x minus. What is our x? x equal to 1. That's a question. If a 1, I can rearrange. If a 1. The question of a time is equal to y. Okay, I can multiply this out. It's going to be 1 over 2 square root of... No, no. 1 just is square root of 2. 1 square root of 2 equal to 1, 2 square root of 2 x minus... Multiply that out. 1 over 2 square root of 2. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take all of these minus that one to the positive. So then it's going to become y equal... Oh, space is not enough. Let me erase here on top. Okay, but when you write, write everything like the way how we flow. So we're going to say y equal to, okay, here we have a 1, which is this one, 1, 2, square over 2, x, okay, minus, minus, 1, 1, 2, 2, square root 2, square root 2. And then this half here is going to go to the, it's going to become possible, 1, square root over 2. So you can just simply say y equal to 1, 2 square root of 2, x. So we're going to plug down the calculator, take a calculator. And then we're going to say uh, fraction 1 over 2, and then square root of 2, square root of 2. And then that's minus. And then plus, plus 1 over square root of a 2. Square root of a 2 over 4. Okay, this is going to give us positive square root of a 2 over 4. So this is a question of a tangential equation of a tangential. See, we got a question of a tangential. If you want to make it linear, you can make it linear. It's up to you, but that's a question of a tangential. Now, in our tangential point we have, our tangential point we got, 
which is this one here. Now, what is the one? Now, that one is a question of a normal now. Question of a normal. Which is where is the question of a normal? What I'm going to say now, remember, when if we have information for tangential, tangential and normal are perpendicular to each other. Meaning, look, if I want to get a question of a normal, I must do this. Y equal to slope. But now, since it's a normal, means you must have to say slope of a normal. Let's say slope of nx plus c. It's like mx, but that slope must be slope of a normal. Because the question of a normal. So do you know slope of a normal? No, we don't know. Or we can just simply say this. Look. Excuse me, let's do this. Let's do this equation y. Minus y1 equal to slope of the slope of a normal. x minus x1. Okay. We got all the information. But the problem we don't have what? We only don't have what? Slope of a normal. That's all. The rest of the stuff we have. So it's easy for me to know. Remember this equation of a tangent. So if this equation of a tangent means we have a slope of a tangent. So to get the slope of a normal is this. I'm going to say slope of a normal times slope of a tangent equal to negative 1. Because they're perpendicular to each other. Slope of a tangent we have that one. So I'm going to say slope of a normal that I don't know equal to slope of a tangent. Slope of a normal I don't know. Slope of a tangent equal to 1. 2 squared over 2. And then equal to negative 1. So I can get the slope of a normal. Slope of a normal equal to, I can simply multiply. It's going to become 2 squared over 2. 2 squared over 2. Oh, my space is not enough, so I can write underneath. So, okay, so slope of a normal. Multiply this on here, it's going to become negative 2 squared over 2. So I have a slope of a normal. So what I can do, I can just substitute back here. So substituting back, I'm going to say I have y1 equal to this, x1 equal to that, slope I have, and then I can finish up the equation. So let's finish up the equation and say, okay, y what, minus uh, y1, y1 this coordinate here means it's going to be 1 squared over 2. Equal slope of a normal, we have this one here negative 2 squared over 2 x minus x1, x1 equal to this number here 1. That's all. So, what we can do now, we can just rearrange that, and that's the end of the equation. Let's rearrange. There's no rule that you play around until you feel like, oh, I cannot simplify further. y equal or y minus y equal, let me take it over, so when you multiply this, it's going to become negative 2, square root of 2x, because you multiply this out, plus, multiply this out, it's going to become 2, square root of 2, and this also is going to become plus, 1, square root of 2. So we can simply simplify, so y equal, that's the equation for normal, let's plus that, so the 2, square root of 2, square root of 2, and then we plus fraction 1 over square root of 2. Square root of 2. And this is going to give us 5. Okay, so here we have a 2x. And this is going to give us plus 5 square root of 2 over 2. And this could be the equation of a normal. See, that's the equation of a normal. If you want, you can multiply by 2 throughout. For each one, because you want to make a linear, let's say multiply by 2. Multiply by 2, multiply by 2, this will become 2y equal to 4 square root of 2x plus this and this cancel. So 5 square root of 2. And that's going to be the equation of a normal x equal to 1. Look, like I say, you know, if you face time here, please give me feedback is very, very important so I know how many people have to help who got problem. But if you don't give me feedback, then oh, maybe there's nobody who need help for me. So Right in the comments is very, very important. Otherwise, then, I can just help other people, you know, who definitely give me feedback. Because it don't make sense. I got to put my hours of time. And then I don't get feedback. So, thanks a lot for your time, man. All you sit up from Deb in the top. Thanks a lot. And I appreciate I'll see you soon. Peace and I'm out.